whatever that noise was. Alright, Sid's Haunted House. Welcome ghosts, gargoyles, and other spooky surprises to your town for 5,000 coins. Yeah, we're going to have to save that for later. There's also the goo we saw earlier. Green for big, pink for small. Buy this goo. Have fun, y'all. And that's for 2,500. So half as much. But could it be half the fun? Probably. <laughs> Anyways. Those outlaws have blocked off the town's water supply. We gotta get rid of that water dam. Alright. Not now, Stinky Pete. I have a dam to save. Well, hot dam. Would you look at that? I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> All right, so now I'll just say it right now. This whole damn area is not in the Wii version at all. So I'm guessing we go around here, the ball on that, wherever a Pixar ball symbol is located. It's a pretty small explosion, I gotta say. We got a schoolboy outfit. And some more gold. We're probably going to need it if we want to buy that haunted house. We're already at 1080, which is probably the uh, resolution of this video. And do we really need to uh, bring down this one? We will, just in case. Okay, we still have to aim directly at the ball symbol. We can't just throw it at any angle, unfortunately. But we got a dodgeball hat. Butterfly hair. Alrighty. We're getting there. Got school girl outfit. Sheriff, come quick. Outlaws are robbing the bank. And you gave me the job to destroy the dam. I don't have time for all this. So yeah, that's one of the uh, missions that'll happen at random. And first of all, may as well do this. Boom! Here we go. It's gonna go boom. Well, that was anticlimactic. I'm guessing because I have the music off, that cutscene just doesn't have sound effects. Just feels awkward. Just feels awkward. <laughs> but there we go. No swimming. Now with all this extra room, we can expand our town. Let's build some new buildings out here. But that's right. And look who it is! It's none other than Bo Peep! <laughs> yeah, she wasn't in the movie, but she's here in the Toy Story 3 game instead. And also, Mr. Pricklepants is here. So that's kind of cool. Let's talk to Bo Peep. Sheriff, the children in this town deserve a school, and it's your responsibility to build one. And, alright, so we gotta buy a school. And by the way, yes, that is Annie Potts voicing Bo Peep in this game. The same uh, person that voiced her in the movies. Including Toy Story 1, 2, and 4. So that's pretty cool that I think, despite her not appearing in the movie, they still got her original actor, which is awesome. I love Annie Potts. Can't go wrong with her. Of course, I believe she was also in stuff like, I think she was in Ghostbusters, right? To where she played the, uh, the receptionist at Ghostbusters HQ.
Better luck next time. Orange Oh, God. Oh, yeah, by the way, for those bank robbery alert missions I was talking about earlier, that's what the uh, random missions that will appear out of nowhere are called. Alert missions. I believe that's their official term. Um, that one with the bank robbery. Oh, Gone Wandering. Let's see what this gold star's about. You've traveled a long distance on foot. It doesn't say how long. It just says long. But, um... Yeah, that... The, uh, bank... Oh, yeah, doctor outfit. The one with the bank robbery, um... Is that you'll actually, um, slowly lose money while they're robbing the bank. So, yeah. Uh, what they're stealing is going straight out of your account. So that's great. And now we have enough to afford the goo. That's nice. But how are we going to get this prize capsule up here? Not too sure. Alright. The school costs 1000 Teach the townspeople a thing or two. We may as well purchase it. And we only have one place to put it. May as well put it here. And there we go, one of four buildings. Alright. Well, that's under construction. We have another well to go through. And there we go! We finished the well, well, well mission. So look at that. Alright, we may as well head back up here. Wow. Quite the fall for Mr. Lightyear. May as well head back to the main town while that's under construction. Yeah. Because we still have some other missions we can do. Right? More buildings. Build four buildings! Okay, that's what that building was. Or that building was. That mission was... Oh, sorry about that. That was my chair. Oh, we still, we still have those uh, fabrics to collect. I completely forgot about that. If I were to guess, there might be some located over here. In this whole area. You never know. Someone could lose their fabric over here. And there's still a whole bunch of prize capsules that we need to collect. And also, yeah, we could grind the rails on these railroads. We can even find afro hair. And now the flower shop's available. And there we go! School is officially in session. And we have the post office available in the toy store. The hotel available in the toy store. The sawmill available in the toy store. And we got the Levercon hat. So that is pretty cool. Who wouldn't look good driving in one of these babies? You can cruise the town, get major air at the stunt track, or show your moves at the skate park. You'll be the envy of all the toys. Apparently Woody and Buzz, they don't look too hot in that. Uh, look too hot, that was weird saying. They don't look too good in that artwork, which was clearly made specifically for this game. You could just kind of tell just by looking at it. There's a prize capsule up here. Pink camouflage walls. There you go. All right, Bo Peep. What do you want this time? School's in session. No, no, no. Oh, my I'll be Sarah. Would you mind rounding up my students? You might Can check you the fishing hole in your town. The fishing hole, eh? Barely heard what you said because freaking Prickle Pants was just rambling on. Alright, so we gotta find um, a school student over here. Hello, Mr. Fisher. 
Mind if I just friggin' kidnap you and take you to school? I'm sure some parents are like this, where they track down their kid and throw them into school. Or not physically throw them, but figuratively, you know? It's physically throwing them would kind of be child abuse. I don't know about you, but... Alright, and there we go. We now have 3,200 coins. Is this a spaghetti western? I adore pasta. Okay. Welcome to field day. Go play the events and see if you can beat the top scores. And remember, have fun. All right. We have a whole bunch of new missions to do now. In this suburban area. All right. So these three events are the missions we need to do for this one mission. So it's kind of three missions in one when you think about it. The school kids are having a field day. You can join in on the fun. You can play dodgeball. You can try to get the best time on the speed run. You can also kick townspeople through the cactus goalpost. Have fun. Well, there's a whole bunch of more stuff I need to do, but sure. You should race to the flag and back. Everyone thinks you have a shot at the best time. Never been, never been an enthusiast for speed running, but now might, might be the time for me to consider it. Alright. Guessing we, yeah, we race to the other flag. I, I kind of want to see what the leaderboards of this would look like, of like, who has the best time in this, you know? I think that would be interesting. Uh, we should probably take the wall jump uh, these two adjacent walls. You don't really know how to describe them. How would you describe a wall, a wall jump walls? You know, that's just awkward to say. Alright, so now... We gotta make it back in the next 45 seconds. I think we can make it. Maybe. Hmm. There might be a chance. Maybe if we do this. No. Okay, never mind. Let's retry it. <laughs> You should race to the flag and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Alright, so you can't really fall down at all. You have to... Still have to jump from platform to platform, even on your way back. So, like this. Pretty much what I was doing earlier. Maybe taking this route won't be too... Oh, wait. This isn't even in the right direction. Never mind. Ah, I fell. Yeah, you think you think everyone thinks I have a good shot? Really? Whatever. All right. Maybe the third time's the charm. Who knows? Knowing me, probably not. <laughs> At least this time I know to take the wall jumping walls. Alright. Now to head back. Yeah, there's no way I wouldn't be able to do this now. There we go. First silver. We only got a silver medal. Thank Nabbit. Ugh. All right. Looks like I didn't do good enough to get gold. All right. What other? 
activities activities are there to do. Let's talk to this dodgeball girl over here. That's not what I meant to press. Shut up. Let's play some bean ball. Just topple folks without getting knocked down yourself. Uh-oh. So are we going to have to shoulder charge into people? Or maybe throw them with our, yep, with our bouncy balls. All right, one more. You! And there we go. We have successfully played Bean Ball. The space portal opens a gateway to oh, the galaxies. Here we go. brings a few destructive friends with it. Get ready for UFOs to rain explosive terror from above. But in a kid-friendly way, you know. All right. Hold on. Sorry about that. My leg fell asleep there. <laughs> or it just grew numb. Alright. Um, I think this is the last thing we need to do. The townsfolk get a kick out of being kicked. Try sending them record distances over the field goal cactus. Will do. Prickle pants, you. I'm kidding. You can't pick up, um, like, cast members, that's the name of them, unfortunately. So, what townspeople are there around here? I don't really see any. There's one. You. Watch this. You kicked a townsperson, 6.49 meters. Nice. We have successfully made a field goal. Football player, now available in the toy store. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's it for the field day activities. Alright. So now, we could, um... Uh, I guess we could continue... with... Oh, sorry there, uh, Mr. Fisher Boy. We could probably... Do that. Oh, there's another, there's another piece of uh, fabric. There we go. That's two out of five. There's another one on the town hall. Yeah. All righty. That's three. Um. Oh, I see another one. That's four. The fifth one should be somewhere close, right? I keep on running into these hemp capsules. I don't need them. Ugh. May as well take a peek at the, uh, the compass. All right. Looks like it's this way. Uh, yep. Told you it wasn't that far away. There we go. We've gotten the mission, so what? Darkle, glittery fan. The magical world of Enchanted Glen, mm. with rainbows and flowers and pretty hearts, too. Fairies and dragons are waiting for you. Turn your are world they? into butterfly joy. It's a sparkly gift for a girl or a boy. Alright. There we go. Apparently there's another major set piece that um, is now available in the toy store. So earlier we saw Zurich Spaceport, also for 5000 along with Lotso's Enchanted Glen. Welcome magical pixies and dragons to your town. So this at least gives us some lore about Lotso as a character. That's nice. Alright, we'll do that later though. We do have a, uh... do have a, yeah, challenge over here. This, this looks like it's actually the, uh... the challenge we unlocked by getting all the roundup cards in the story mode. I think that's what it is. We may as well do that later. First of all... We should probably buy more buildings. 
like. Hmm. Let's see. Do we really need these buildings? Muffin shop. Newspaper. Keep the townspeople up to date on current events. Deliver the mail to your town citizens. The central hub for all your construction needs. We may as well get the newspaper up in here. Place it. Oh, we can place it in here. That's cool. Uh, let's place it over here, actually. Alright. That's two of four buildings. While we do that, let's talk to Stinky Pete. Sheriff, I'm in a fix. My donkey kicked in the fence and went for a stroll. Now he's stuck on the top of this mountain. What mountain? Oh, that's a mountain? Uh-oh, there he is. All right. Um, is this guy okay? Oh, I thought he looked different than usual. Eh. Whatever. It could just be me not being used to his Xbox 360 appearance, the chicken. Well, it looks like everything's in tip -top shape. No, they aren't, Buzz. We gotta rescue this donkey. And if we don't, we're doomed. We got goo doors. That's pretty cool. And so, yeah, in these on-rail sections, or on-rail, these kind of rail sections, there's a difference. Um, just gotta jump over the minecart, because if you run into them, I believe you'll lose some coins. We're going the wrong way, aren't we? I don't even know. And jump up here, or climb up here. Oh. Oh, what did I run into? That was weird. Alright, apparently we got a gold star. Riding, or riding the, the rails. And there he is. It's none other than the donkey. Do we punt him? Oh! Okay. Apparently he uh, suffered no damage whatsoever. Alright. Apparently, um, apparently donkeys are invincible. And look at that. We have another alien in our town. Alright. That's pretty cool. There's also a prize capsule over here. Let's see if there's an e How are you going oh, to prove to your okay. friends that you've seen what you've seen and done what you've done? You need a camera! Mm. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Thanks, Jeff Garland. And look at that. The newspaper... Um, building has been built. Alright, let's get this price capsule. We got ballerina hair. Oh, you lose 15 coins. Holy crap, that's more than I thought. I thought it'd be like five. Whatever, we got goo windows and beehive hair. Alright. Looks like Stinky Pete doesn't need anything right now. How many coins do we have? 6,653. We may as well build another building while we're at it. Like... The Muffin Shop. Can't get enough of muffins, am I right? Uh... Let's place it over here. There we go. Power Shopper! Lost a toy. Some toys can be retrieved from the toy store. So yeah, I forgot to mention, some toys, like, I believe, uh, Bullseye, can actually be summoned whenever, um, if you're, if you're at a toy store. If you ever lose them, you can just spawn them in whenever. So that's pretty cool. Looks like this alien over here has a mission. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay. Greetings. I would be eternally grateful if you would find my friend. On it. 
Oh, hey! It's Wheezy! Look at that. We'll go talk to him later. There he is. Hello, Mr. Alien. Taking you with me. To where? I don't know, actually. I gotta talk to Wheezy. There we go. Aliens are invading town! Oh, no! Looks like they're doing their little dance. Oh, no! Dang it! I thought we were be able to make some new friends. Worried something happened to it. Better go investigate, Sheriff. On it, Ham. So this is another one of the alert missions. So, oh, sorry. Sorry, Wheezy. Oh, there we go. Muffin chops opened. But uh, what's more important is that the uh, what, this is another one of the alert missions that could happen is uh, the stagecoach being under attack by the uh, bandits. All you need to do is for, for this is just take care of the bandits. And there we go. The stagecoach can now continue its regularly scheduled stuff. And jumps, or just zip around town. Have I piqued your interest? Then hurry up and buy it. Nope. You have not piqued my interest. Sorry. A tiny car? Come on. That's... I wanted to make a joke there, but I don't know if I should. Ooh, I got it. I, can, I could have made a joke about micro machines. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's talk to Wheezy. Let's see just what kind of photographer you are. Get me a photo of Pete, the old prospector. Yeah, that's not how he sounds in the movies. So uh, if you don't know, uh, Wheezy in Toy Story 2, that's the only film he, he appeared in, was voiced by uh, Joe Ramped, one of, uh, I know he was an employee at Pixar. Uh, unfortunately, though, he died in 2005. So, uh, yeah, that's why, of course, they couldn't get his actor because he's dead. Now, I believe uh, he also voiced the character uh, Heimlich, the caterpillar in uh, A Bug's Life, which is pretty cool. Here, however, I believe he is voiced by none other than um, uh, voice acting veteran Phil Lamar, who you may know for plenty of voice roles in mainly cartoons such as uh, Samurai Jack, and I believe he even did a voice role in uh, the Jimmy Neutron TV show, where he played the character uh, Bulby. Classic character. Forget what other voice roles he's done, but I know it's plenty. Like, if we're talking movie license games here, I believe he actually um, voiced Marty the zebra and the Madagascar video games. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't get in the way of the stagecoach. Uh, we still don't have the camera. Should we have the camera? Because I think it, it should usually be in your inventory, right? It certainly has been a lazy You could say that again, Ham. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you. Go over here. Of course, you can just throw the band into the water if you want, but you don't get any points for it. Or maybe you throw them in the well. Oh yeah, by the way, I believe if you... Oh, <laughs> we'll just take them down here. You're not going anywhere, sir. Goodbye. Alright, that works. Oh, there we go. I believe this is our camera. Alright, pretty heavy. It is a pretty heavy camera, as you walk you uh, walk pretty slowly if you have it. If you have it equipped. So, I believe Weezy told us to take a picture of the Prospector? Hold on. Oh, apparently that, that works. I took that on accident. So, with the camera, I believe you uh, use the aim button in order to go into camera mode, and you... Press the uh, right trigger here, or R2 in PlayStation, or 
It's not even on the Wii version. Yeah, the camera isn't on the Wii version, so I don't even have to say anything about the Wii version right now. Let's go talk to Wheezy again. Sorry, Wheezy, we're just in the way of a hemp capsule. Your next assignment will test your skills as a photographer. Take a photo of something truly eye-catching. Eye-catching, you say? What a alien talking to a shelf. Or, shelf. <laughs> a chef. It'll be the next Ratatouille movie to where, as opposed to a rat helping out Linguini, it'll be an alien. I got zero points. So, yeah, this is where the uh, descriptions of the um, townspeople's costumes come into play. To where they'll, ac they'll actually uh, tally up to points for photos to where you'll need to meet a certain quota for these different missions. I did not mean to do that, but 104. All right, what? Take a photo with a score of 1,000 points or more. Use the camera to take a picture. You'll get a score for pictures you take. If you score more than 1,000 points, you complete the mission. Good luck. Yeah, I'm going to need it. Dang it. All right, what are the controls? Okay, use the bumpers to zoom in. Amateur photographer. There we go. Take a picture of Bullseye. Oh, we got close there. We got very close. Alright, good photos, good photos. Perfect. Oh, by the way, the X button, you can post it to billboards across town. Ain't that cool? So if you love a photo so much that you want to keep it, you can keep it there. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, it tells you how many um, characters are in frame on the right. Frame times eight. And so apparently in this photo we have 60 cute, 20 funny, and 212 cool. There we go. Picture perfect. All right. Uh, more buildings, right? More buildings we gotta build. Sorry, Wheezy, but I'll talk to you later. Uh, should we build maybe the candy shop? Loaded with sugar and sweet surprises. Sure, we'll do it. Uh, well, we only have one area we can place it. All right. Three. Out of four. All right.